Hey, what is going on? I'm David from Tech Android, and today in this video, let's check out Flyme 6 ROM for the Xiaomi Redmi 4, aka the Redmi 4X. So, first of all, in order to install the ROM, as always, you need a TWRP recovery installed in your device. So, if you haven't already, links for tutorial videos will be in the description below, and I will leave cards right here. So, check them out. So the first thing you need to do is to download the ROM file which will be linked in the description below. So download it and place it either in the internal storage or in the SD card of your device. Now power off your device and reboot into recovery mode by holding the volume up button and the power button together. And now this menu will pop up and here select recovery. And now select the blue Chinese button. So now the device has booted into TWRP recovery. So the very first thing you need to do is to take a complete backup of your current ROM so that just in case if you don't like the Flyme ROM, you can come back to your stock ROM. Now select wipe and swipe to wipe. Now select install and select the Flyme 6 ROM file and swipe to flash and now select reboot system so the first boot into the new ROM will take quite a bit of time so just sit back and relax So it's been about 5 to 6 minutes now and the device hasn't booted up. So if this happens to you, what you have to do is just power off your device and power it on once again and it should boot into the ROM now. So yeah, the device has finally booted into ROM. It took a pretty good amount of time and I had to reboot the device in the middle after about five to six minutes so now what you have to do is go through the initial setup process so i'll do that and i'll be back so now i've set up the rom and now as you can see there's no google play services installed so now to get google play services open the app store and search for google And now download this application, the one with this icon. It says Google installer in Chinese, but of course we cannot read Chinese. And now open the application and tap on the blue button. So now this application will install Google Play services in the device. So once the installation is completed, the device will reboot automatically. That's just fine. So. Yeah. So now the device has completed rebooting. Now once again open the Google installer and now you should see open Google Play. Tap on it and it will ask you for your Google account. So yeah just add your Google account. And once you add your Google account you should see Google Play Store application in the home screen. If not just wait for a couple of minutes it should pop up. So now moving on to the ROM, with respect to bugs, there's no support for VOLTE and IR Blaster. There is an option to enable VOLTE in network settings, but it just does not work. I tried with Geo and it doesn't seem to work. And with respect to fingerprint scanner, I'm using a device with FPC fingerprint scanner and for me the fingerprint scanner is not working, but I don't know about good x fingerprint scanner so if your device has a good x fingerprint scanner the fingerprint scanner might work for you i'm not sure about this so if you have a device with good x fingerprint scanner and if you happen to install this rom just leave a comment stating if fingerprint scanner is working for you or not so now moving on apart from these bugs everything else works fine the performance is good i did not face any app crashes uh, the ROM is also pre-rooted and things like 
camera works totally fine both photos and videos works without any issues and fly me features like the ability to watch video in small window and other features works just fine and other basic things like wi-fi hotspot gps and flashlight also works without any issues so looking past ia blaster and volt issues this rom is actually pretty good and with regards to fingerprint scanner and with regards to fingerprint scanner once again i'm not sure my device has an fpc fingerprint scanner and it does not work for me so i don't know about good x fingerprint scanner so once again if your device has good x fingerprint scanner and if you happen to install this rom just leave a comment stating if the fingerprint scanner is working for you or not so yeah that's it for this video guys if you found this video useful go down and hit the like button because that encourages me a lot and for more videos like this go down and hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon right next to the subscribe button so that you will get notification as soon as a new video goes live i'm david from dragon rod and i'll see you all later see ya